What's up guys, Double Dragon here, another episode of the Wackamon Dailies and fighting a Fjord rat in the Healing Fjord. So, still training up, I reckon just this episode and then I can start doing trainer battles again because all the trainers are level 25 and I can't feasibly contend at the moment. So, there are not really many, well, I'll be honest, not many topics on MMA Champion today. However, there is something that caught my attention and I would like to expand upon a little bit and that involves the loot changes to 10 and 25 men. Now what they're doing is they're adding another kind of tier of loot called Thunderforged loot and what that means is when something, when a piece of loot drops, so let's say a, um, a 502 piece of loot from LFR, right, it has a chance no wait, no wait, <laughs> I meant in normal mode, when they drop like a 522 piece of gear, then there's a chance that it could instead drop a Thunderforged piece, which is a 528. So, they're, they're trying to make it so that there's no uh, best in slot kind of deal, so instead of having just, you go, into a, you go into a fight expecting a piece of loot, now you can get a slightly better piece of loot. Now this kind of... Uh, breaks that line between something that is like an upgrade and something that might be an upgrade and all this. It means that you now have a bigger range of choices. Now I both like and dislike this change because in Heroic it's the same way. It's like a uh, 535 piece of loot drops and then it can be a 541. So we've already got a lot of different kinds of item levels for gear now. I mean we've got a lot, I'll be honest. Right now, the only way you can tell if your loot's any good is not by the stats that the item has, it's by how big the number is. That's really all everyone's measuring it by. So, in saying that there is a lot, there's like an influx of this, this garbage now, and it's getting a bit too much. There's too much different kinds of gear, there's too many item levels, too many differences. Now it's confusing, okay? So it, it's, it's better, but it's more confusing. Alright, so this episode, Tankspot will not die. If he does, just leave a comment saying that I'm a filthy casual because that's exactly what I will be. I cannot let him die this entire episode. This is the one episode in which Tankspot will not die because I'm an idiot. Alright. So, further expanding upon the loot changes. Now, they're trying to do this in order to... Uh, uh, muddy the waters, I think that's the correct term, between 10 and 25 man raids because they want people to get back into 25 mans. Now, I'm a big advocate of 25 mans. I'm a 25 man raider, that's that's who I've always been. However, the guild I'm in now, they raid 25 mans and my main issue, main issue is that my server just doesn't have enough horde on it, right? The alliance to horde ratio is like two alliance to every one horde. It's, it's really bad. So, Running 25 men, there's only one 25 man on my realm and I'm in it. <laughs> so, and, and it's like, we're constantly sifting through members. So, you know, I have to join a 10 man guild. It's not feasible to do 25 men on my server. So, the reason people don't do 25s is because there's no better reward. There's no reason to do 25s apart from I just like it. <laughs> okay, there's no, it's like doing challenge modes, you know, people do them because they just want to do them there's no reward at the end you know it's just you could do normal dungeons in random dungeon finders and you would get better rewards or better you know kind of the same rewards as this other thing which is more difficult so they're trying to bring 25s back but is this the right way to go about it what what they're saying is that they're going to have a slightly better chance in 25s to drop uh thunderforged gear Slightly, okay? Emphasis on slightly. It means it has a tiny chance for for it to happen. So, think about it. Do people run scenarios that there's a chance that, oh my god, Tankspot died. What is, what is wrong with me? Ah, oh, damn it! Kill me! Just shoot me in the face because I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, this is it's never going to happen with Tankspot. I'll finish my thought as soon as I move on. God damn it. So think about scenarios for a second and how they have a chance to draw 476 purple gear from those uh, random bags you get when you finish it. I think it's like a daily thing. Maybe it's constant. I'm not sure. The problem is there. The problem is that it's a chance. It's a very, very, very minute chance. Now, 
there are some purple, there's some purple gear in random dungeons. I, I'm not sure a lot of people know that, but there, there is. Okay, the last boss has a chance to drop a purple item. But have you ever seen that happen? <laughs> okay, it's not, it's not that it'll drop the item and it could be useful for you. It's that I have never seen in the, like, hundreds of times I've done random dungeons to get Valor, I have never seen a purple weapon or item drop at the end, at the end boss. Never! Okay, not once! Even if it did drop, there's a chance, there's a huge chance that it might be useless to you. So, ooh, tank spot, you are not dying, my friend. You are not dying. Don't die. Don't, don't, don't. Fudge! <laughs> Kill me! Just rip out my nuts and beat me with a piece of dry meat because I hate this garbage. Okay. So getting back to my, uh, my point. All right. So there's a tiny chance for that to happen. Now, it's not, you can't rely on it, all right? I'm a big, big believer in things that I can rely on, alright? Just because there's a chance uh, I could win the lottery doesn't mean I'm going to sink my money into it every single week. I don't do that because that's stupid and it's a huge money sink for no reason. For a tiny chance that, you know, er everyone has to win sometime, but it's not going to be you. <laughs> you, you don't even fathom it. You, you can't do it. It's not, you can't rely on it, okay? If there's a chance, but you can't rely on it. Alright, so just imagine you're working in a job and the boss comes out and he says, um, Alright, so you have a chance every week to earn your pay. So one week you might earn 2,000 bucks for working, you know, three hours in the week. Another week you might earn nothing and there's a very high chance you'll earn nothing. But you have a high chance of earning some uh, big money. Are you going to keep working there? No. <laughs> Because that's stupid. You can't rely on that. You can't, you can't, it's not even, it's not, a, it's not a thing that you can rely on. You can't do it. So, this doesn't, this is a band-aid, once again, on a wound that is too big, okay? If you want to fix 25 mans, there has to be an incentive to do it. Because it's more difficult to organize, it's more difficult to maintain, because there's 25 people. Alright, most of the time, the encounters are just as difficult but you think about something like um, the first boss in Heart of Fear. Now that requires raid awareness. Now when you have more people, there's a higher chance someone will screw up. Now there's a there's a lesser penalty if someone does screw up, but still, you need people on top of your game. If you're going to have a, a dedicated team, you need 25 people. 25 people is no is no laughing matter. That's, that's a huge number of people to log on like three days a week for like four hours. And if... Right, so if someone, if you start uh, not clearing bosses, it's going to start a chain reaction because there's more people that people will leave. And that's more difficult to maintain. Alright, 10 man's not as difficult. If someone leaves, you can replace them. It, it, there's no huge, you know, I've got this huge friend group of like 10 people and we're all going to join, you know, leave and do our own thing. No. In 25s, it's, it's just a bigger thing. 10 man, not as big. So... And I am pretty afraid that with all this new gear, Thunder Forged, and like you got like uh, shard touched weapons and elite, elite heroic, and now you got elite heroic Thunder Forged. What is this? What is this nonsense? It's too much. It's too many. It's too much stuff. People can't tell what gear, what boss it came from, what level, what, how they got it. It's, it's too many variables now. It's, it's too confusing, and if they just, I, I don't know, isn't, it, isn't there some way around this, like, you can't, you can't tell what's going to drop off a boss anymore, it's like, I have a chance to get a slightly better upgrade, so do I not spend my, uh, my DKP or EGPG, P, 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 EPGP this week, or do I not, do I save it up in case the Thunderforged version drops next week, you know, now it's confusing, do we spend our, our points for showing up to a raid on gear that might actually be better or worse, or what is the, what is the go, what is the go, no one knows anymore, because there's so much fucking gear all over the place, it's raining from the sky, <laughs> and we're trying to catch it, but we don't know which drop is bigger, what's what's the, what's happening, and who's gonna drop what, and whether or not we're gonna clear a boss next week, and whether to use our fucking 
all the charms of extra loot. There's too many options. I don't know what to do anymore when I kill a boss. I can't even equip the item when it does drop. I have to save it up and then enchant it and gem it and reforge it. It's like, it's like a burden when a piece of loot drops. It's like a burden. I have to go through an entire goddamn meeting with like two other people to decide whether or not this is actually an upgrade or whether I, I should use my elder charms or whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. One more battle. So there's one other new feature that uh, I didn't really mention because like there was two MMO champion posts kind of close to each other so I, I kind of skipped over this one but Ghost Crawl is hinting at a new unannounced feature that is on the level of the random dungeon finder and LFR. I did discuss it briefly with my uh, raid group and they have no idea what it is, but something that's on the level of dungeon finder and LFR, like, because he specifically said dungeon finder and LFR, so that means like another finder for something. Because I mean, they've already got like a PvP finder. What else could there possibly be? Like, we've got a pet battle finder, I mean, what what feature is this? What what is it talking about? I mean, we've also got cross realm zones. So, is there even anything that could like merge something to make it more convenient? Is that what what is that? I mean, what what could that? I have no idea. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it could be. So, they've like they've already announced. I mean, they haven't announced it yet. So I can't even begin to speculate. But to Take away some of the things they've already announced. They've already said the uh, new character models and the Sage of Ogamar. You know, uh, the, this has to be some kind of new feature because they've already implemented the uh, the upgrade system, the gear upgrade system. And um, by the way, that's another pain in the ass for the um, for all the different kinds of gear we have now. It's so confusing. And yeah, I don't know. It, it, is this, is it going to be any good? I mean, is it actually going to help the game? I don't, I can't even think of anything that would I'd want at this point. I mean, unless the LFR is for low level raids and it scales back your gear to something that's, uh, so you can actually do low level res again, that would be fun. I would be huge, huge supporter of that. But I don't know what else this could be. I mean, no, I, I can't even begin to fathom. So, yeah. Alright, so are we almost done here? <laughs> One more hit, and it's over. Tankspot did not die. Alright, so what I'll do is tomorrow I will do a trainer battle. We'll see how we go. Uh, he's almost level 23. And hopefully get back into the routine of doing uh, wild battles, trainers, and then PvP. So, yeah. Have a good one, guys, and I will catch you later.